The author, David Foster Wallace, argues that the reason why we read is to be less alone. Now when you think about it, it's kind of an odd argument to make because reading is activity we normally do alone. So what did Wallace mean by this? Well, I argue that there are two aspects to Wallace's argument. One, that reading is like a conversation with the author. And in that conversation, we identify with the author's ideas, beliefs, and values. As a result, the novel begins to represent a part of us. And in this way, reading becomes autobiographical because we could take that book and say, this is totally me. The second reason that reading makes us less alone is that it creates communities. And those communities are created through sharing a book, reading a book together, or simply knowing that other people have read that same book. So reading also gives a sense of belonging. My dissertation is concerned with these two aspects of reading, autobiography and community. A look at Wallace's Infinite Jest and Gertrude Stein's Everybody's Autobiography, and I argue that each of these texts creates communities and invites autobiographical writing at a time when America was undergoing a cultural identity crisis. So during the summer of 2009, in the wake of the 2008 financial crisis, a community grew around reading Infinite Jest on a blog called Infinite Summer. Although Infinite Jest was written in 1996, Wallace's concerns about depression, loneliness, and addiction were major concerns for those in Infinite Summer. So much so, in fact, that rather than just discussing the novel, Infinite Summer is filled with autobiographical narratives about these concerns. What is significant is that Infinite Summer produces a text that is not read separate from, but alongside Infinite Jest as if it was part of the novel. Like Wallace, Gertrude Stein also believed in the relationship between authors and readers. But it was not until she was introduced to radio in the early 30s that she realized the communities that literature could create. Stein was awed by radio's capacity to calm the anxieties concerning the loss of community and identity during the Great Depression. So after receiving fan letters from those who uh, listened to her radio broadcasts, Stein took those letters and incorporated them into a narrative of her own and called about her time in America and called the book Everybody's Autobiography. So like Infinite Summer, Stein creates a communal text um, composed out of autobiographical narratives. Altogether, my dissertation reveals the tensions of community in mass media, how these tensions appear in American literature, and why these two texts coax uh, readers to write autobiographically in order to share with others their personal and cultural problems that may be taboo. Thank you. <laughs>